Welcome to the video tutorials of mechanisms by Mekanis Miller. You may have noticed that the name of the pneumatic valve I am going to describe is very strange and long. I could not come up with a better description of the valve and I have named it as it is. 5 port, 4 way, air to air operated valve. It is called this because there are five ports that can be used to make connections. The valve shown here has one port connected to the pressure source, two ports connected to the cylinder and two ports are reserved for exhaust. These ports are named as follows. Port P is connected to pressure source. Ports A and B are connected to the air cylinder. And finally R and S ports are connected to the atmosphere. Also the connections are shown on the valve symbol here on the right. It is also called a four-way valve because the spool of this valve has two positions and at each position the flow has two ways to go, hence the name four-way valve. On the animation and the symbol the pressurized air is shown with red while the atmospheric pressure is shown in blue. Why is it also called air to air? The position of the spool is controlled by pilot air. Since both sides of the spool is controlled by pilot air, I called it air to air. The symbol changes positions to emulate motion of the spool and you can see the four ways the air, whether it is pressurized or at atmospheric condition. Please note that we have also two similar valves at the left and right of the main valve. I call these valves as three port, two way, force to spring valve. While three ports and two ways description will be obvious based on the our previous description, force to spring term needs an explanation. It means that we can actuate the valve by force, by pushing the button on the valve, it returns its previous condition by spring when the power effect is removed from the button. The force condition on this valve is emulated in this animation by the mouse clicking on the valve. The mouse release action emulates the force removed from the valve button. This will cause the valve to return to its normally closed by position with the spring action. Let's investigate the operation of the valve. Initially, the spool of the main valve is located on the left and the piston is in the retracted position. Pushing the right button will have no effect on the valve, since the pilot air pressure applied to the right side of the main valve will try to push the spool leftward, which is already there. However, pushing the left valve button will force the spool of the main valve to move towards the right. This will cause the piston to extend. Even the pressure of the valve button is removed there is no way for the piston to retract. This is because the pressure on both sides of the spool for the main valve will be the same as atmospheric pressure. When we press the button on the right valve this will create a pressure imbalance between right and left sides of the main valve spool and will force the spool to move leftward and as a result the piston will retract. This valve has many applications in the pneumatic circuit and I hope this video has made the inner working of this valve a little clearer. One of the main applications of this valve could be the reciprocating motion of the mechanism with air cylinders. Here I will show it manually. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. If you enjoyed this video and found it to be useful please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. We appreciate your support.